Okay, so in this video, we will cover the notification section or the campaign section. So in order to set up a new campaign, you have to click on notifications from the extreme left. Once you click on notification, you will land on this page. So notifications are of three types. One is a one-time campaign, one is an ongoing campaign, and one is an API campaign. We will cover all the three types of campaigns in detail. Let's start with a one-time campaign. In order to set up a one-time campaign, you have to just click on your campaign from the extreme right. Click on start from scratch. So it will ask you to enter the uh, campaign name. Let's say the campaign name is test campaign. This campaign name is for your internal purpose only. The second step says choose your audience. So in this step, we'll select the campaign type as one time. Now I'll click on apply audience filter. So for now, system has selected all the users that are there on the portal. Let's say if you want to run a campaign on all the customers that are there on your portal, then you do not need to set any filter. But in case if you want to run a campaign on certain set of customers, then you can use this filter section. Let's say while uploading the customers onto the portal, you gave a certain tag to those customers. Okay, so in order to run a campaign on those customers, you can filter out the customers by the basis of the tag. Let's say the tag given by me is test 22nd May. I'll click on this tag name, click on is, and click on apply filters. So 58 users got filtered out out of the complete list. Now this campaign will go to these 58 users only. Okay. So the other way of applying filter is, let's say I don't, uh, I want to run a campaign on uh, customers on the basis of user traits. For that, I'll click on this section, add filter. Let's say I want to run a campaign on the customers whose country is India. Make sure you add these traits while uploading the customers on the portal. I'll add country is India, click on done. I'll click on apply filters. So these many users, 1647 users will filter out, out of the complete list. Now the campaign will go to these certain customers only, not to the complete list. Once the uh, you have selected the audience, the next step is selecting the template. So the template, you must have already created the template. Now I'll click on choose template. I select the template that I have recently created. Click on choose template. Okay, so the template says hi, then there is a variable one, and then the message body. So the mapping of the variable that you have added into the template will be done over here in this step. I want if I want to uh, map this variable against the name value of the customer, so I'll select name and then it's a fallback value. Let's say if the system will not able to find any name of that particular customer, then a fallback value will be sent like hi there or hi sir or peak map. Okay, first the system will pick up the name of the customer, whatever the name will be there against that entry. The, in case there is no name added, then this fallback value will be sent. Then we'll come to the third step. So whatever the buttons you have added in this particular template, we'll map these buttons from here, from this third step. So let's say the first button was the stop button. I'll click on setup. It says trigger type on button click, select option and select the button type, uh, the button name as stop. These are the buttons that we have already created and select stop. And so uh, once the customer will click on this particular button stop, they will get this message. So we will not message you further. You can even edit this message as per your requirement and click on save. Now let's say I want to send a catalog to my customers. For that again, I'll click on setup. It says on button click or the other option is on type dot reply. But since I've already created the buttons, I select option. The button name that I've already created is viewer collection. So once the customer will click on viewer collection, either you can send the complete catalog message uh, or, or a collection list. So let's say I'm going to share the complete collection list. I'll select the product collection list. Mm -hmm. I'll click on save. Now the third step says send interactive list message. So let's say if you want to say, uh, share a menu with your customers, then you click on setup on button click. I have already created a button by the name no more. So whatsoever the interactive list is created on your account, you will have you need to set this interactive list from the automation section. You click on save. 
Now the third button says send custom reply. Let's say if you have created any custom button, then you can set up the response of that custom button from here. Or you can even set uh, the response uh, of this custom button from the automation section at the extreme left. Now let's say if I want to include a workflow, I'll click on setup. It says one button click and select the button type as give us your feedback. I'll click on the workflow library and I'll select the workflow whatsoever the workflow I want to uh, link with this particular button. Make sure the workflow, uh, you need to create the workflow first. Okay. Once all these steps are done, you come to the fourth step. So it says, uh, like, well, uh, when you want to send this message, well, right? immediately, like you want to run this campaign right now, or if you want to run this campaign on the custom date. Let's say I want to run this campaign on certain uh, other date, let's say on 29th of May at 12 p.m., then system will automatically run the campaign on this particular date and time. But for now, I'll select immediately. Then I'll come to the fifth step and I'll set the campaign as live. So this covers the one-time campaign.